This is Gambia's President Yahya Jame. But his smiles in Chad don't mean everything back home is okay. Reports from the capital Banjul say yet another coup attempt against him has been foiled. Yahya has promised action against those who helped the leader of the attempt, a former commanding officer of the Gambian State Guards. Rest assured that the enemies of the people have been defeated and I will be returning immediately in order to oversee an investigation and ensure that the perpetrators of this plot face stern justice. And that stern action is what many people fear from the man who took over Gambia 20 years ago in a coup. He was a 29-year-old lieutenant in 1994 and promised to bring stability. With that promise, he's won four elections and kept his dream alive. That, in his words, to rule Gambia for a billion years. But that's not the only thing he says he's capable of. Al Jazeera got rare access to the reclusive leader in 2007. Take a deep breath. Is your pen still there? Stay reducing. Yahya Jame is a self-declared healer. His herbal potions are professed to have a cure for AIDS, infertility among women, even asthma. He holds sessions and people queue to get a remedial massage. But these clinics have a very serious side. Many HIV patients have died after being advised to stop taking antiretroviral drugs. And it's not just health care. The Gambian leader has also been accused of stifling freedom of speech. Reporters Without Borders says his regime has been harassing, censoring and threatening the media. He's also shut down several newspapers and arrested those who dared to protest. The UK has warned tourists after the latest failed coup attempt. The United States has condemned the ensuing violence. And the president will be dispensing more stern justice against dissenters, along more herbal treatments and bananas. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.